Hello, friends. Eli here with Mystic Circuits. Today, I want to show you a couple patches of a match made in heaven. Make noise, Mats. Mystic Circuits, Anna. Because Anna takes two inputs and gives you six outputs, which are different combinations of those two input signals. A module like Maths with two function generators is a perfect complement. In a way, having an Anna is kind of like having six more of the sum or the OR outputs. Basically, these outputs are just a combination of all of the voltages you're feeding into Maths, and in that way, the six other outputs of Anna give you six other flavors of these combinations. Okay, so right now, we have both outputs of Maths going into Anna. Each LFO is free running, so there's no modulation going in, no feedback with Anna. Anna is just processing the voltages from Maths. We have the box output creating gates based on both of our inputs, and that is being fed into strike. We also have the step output, which creates a sort of smooth stepped sample and hold like shape going into our one volt per octave. This allows you in any situation to take two inputs and generate a note sequence and a gate sequence based on both of your inputs. So if we change things around a bit. see that we get a variety of sort of plucky textures. I personally like to modulate both strike and the fold amount on the DPO to get a combination of percussive and swelling sort of envelopes, so I'll run the magnitude to the fold input. The nice thing about magnitude is that it's always positive, and so it's very effective for envelopes or to control the cutoff of the filter. If you want something to end where there's no sound being generated, it always be modulated in a positive direction or open up the sound a bit. So I'll go ahead and mess around with this more. So you can see, we can change the controls on Anna, and sometimes you can sort of tell what's going to happen, such as this knob, turning it clockwise, will eventually cause the sample and hold to raise in pitch. However, a nice way to work with Anna is not to necessarily think of each knob as a parameter, and instead to sort of explore the territory available to you.
about the other outputs. Well, VCA is the multiplication of the two inputs. So, it gives you a positive and a negative voltage, but if either one of the inputs is zero, you get zero. So that can be nice to modulate something that you don't necessarily want to always be modulated, but you want it to sometimes change. So, plug VCA into the modulation index. You can see that the modulation kind of zeroes out at certain points. modulation when one of the inputs is low. Now, for something like FM in index, I normally don't like having my FM index be high all the time. I just sometimes want it to turn Min is perfect for that, because Min will usually be giving you a low voltage. Every once in a while, when both of the inputs are high, you'll get a high voltage. So if we put something in here, see, not a whole lot going on. I start to raise some of the inputs. Every once in a while, the FM index will increase. high, whenever either output is high, every once in a while it dips low. Oh, I already have a cable here. So, if I plug it into something like shape, it'll sort of stay with the higher range of the modulation, only dipping into the lower values every once in a while. So, we can have it sort of, this being our lower value buzzing being sort of more around that spike shape being the higher value. Eventually we'll get to a setting where the sine wave comes through. You can usually tell because when max is low, rather when min is low, max is low. Although in this case I don't know if that makes any sense. I'm going off straight with scripts. Okay, this is all well and good. What if I want maths to do something crazy that it doesn't normally do? Well, I halted the step and box out. <laughs> You'll notice that if I plug step we are now modulating that with itself. The nice thing about this is in step is that getting into the right range, you can sort of start to get some pseudo-randomness. Thank <laughs> you. 
input of each channel. Then we have the sample and hold, rather the step output, min, max, and VCA, all plugged into an ornaments and crimes, quantizing everything. Voices, DPO, and Platts off screen are going into the Polyvox filter. Polyvox filter is also being modulated by the magnitude output on Anna. Magnitude always gives us a positive voltage. So it's really nice at opening and closing filters, as you just heard. Thank you. 
Thank you.